Praise the Lord. Good morning. Uh, I believe you had a fantastic weekend. Uh, the Lord is faithful. It is good to have you again on this beginning day of the week. As we share the word of the Lord, may you get impacted. May the Lord help you and walk with us in this ministration. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much this day. I give you honor, praise, and adoration. Thank you, Father, for this day. For you are a faithful God, wonderful, and worthy to be exalted. Lord, this day is in your hands. We pray the Lord as we share your word. May you walk with us and may we learn from this word, O oh Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want to share from the book of John uh, 5 and verses 1. And this is the story of the blind man. Uh, it was the healing at the pool. And the Bible says, John 5 and verses 1, some time later, Jesus went to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish festivals. Two says, now there is in Jerusalem near the ship gate a pool, which in Aramic is called Bethsaida, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here, a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind and lame, the paralyzed. One, one who was there had been in Bethsaida for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else go down ahead of me. Then Jesus said, Get up, pick your mat and walk. At once, the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. Praise the name of Jesus. The healing of this, uh, you know, man at the pool of Bethsaida. So Jesus comes and meets this man who has been disabled for many years. And the Bible says, in this place we had many people who would come. You know, it was a pool. Once it was stirred, people would come who are disabled, people who are lame, and they would get well. And Jesus comes and saw this man lying there. And, you know, he learned about this condition. This is a man who has been in this condition for 38 years. That's a quite a long period. And for this period, this man has been lying there, waiting for someone to stir the pool for him to get well. And you see, when Christ approaches him, the Bible says in 6, when Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Jesus asked this man, do you want to get well? And that is the question Christ is asking us. Do you want to get well? Now, this man does not answer this question. But he goes ahead and says, Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool. Jesus is asking this man, do you want to get well? But this man is saying, I don't have anyone to do what? To stir the water so that I can get in the pool. And he says, well, I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Okay? So Jesus said to him, after this man giving all these kind of excuses, Jesus said to him, get up, pick your mat, and walk. Now, the answer this man should have given is, yes, I want to get well. But he goes ahead and says, you know, people have been coming here. Now the question is, why was this man not getting well all those years? Other people come, they get well, and they go. But this man has been in this situation for a quite a long period. Now that's the question we are asking ourselves. The, the issue about uh, this pool was definitely in the Jewish festivals. And you know, many will come. Many had done that. An angel will come, stir the water, people will get well. But this time, Jesus himself has come and asking this man, why are you been here? Because in, Jesus knew very well, people have been getting well here. Why is this man here for that long time and not been getting well? Praise the name of Jesus. And, and that's sometimes why we find ourselves in situations where things are not happening, not because uh, you, you cannot cross the next level, but because you have no definite answer why. Because Jesus has been doing this for all this time. Jesus has been healing. He's been sending angels to heal these people. And later on, as we read this script, you realize this man was not a very good man. He was actually a sinner. But other people will still come and get well. This people will come and get well. Now, the example of this story that we are reading about uh, this man at the pool is what happens to us daily in our lives. 
But Jesus is asking us, do we want to get well? The issue is, this man, we did not want to get well. But he only had excuses and was waiting for someone else to do that. Not Jesus. Not the angel. He was waiting for a man to come and help him. He was waiting for someone else to come and do this. His faith was not anchored on Christ. His faith was not anchored on this one. His faith was waiting for someone, someone to just come and start the water. Because others will still get well. And then that's a long period, 38 years. But when Jesus saw this, he actually helped this man to get well. The Bible says this later on, that is in verses 14, later Jesus found him at the temple and said to him, See, you are well again. Stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. So this man was a sinner. Stop sinning. He used to sin and that's why his condition worsened for all that time. So he told him, don't go ahead and sin anymore because if you do that, you'll be in a worse condition like this. Are we finding ourselves in situations where we have been in a situation for so long and we don't find an answer to it? All we say is a blame game. We try and put, you know, excuses of one or two or three things where we cannot accomplish what we need to accomplish. And that's why Christ is asking us, do we want to get well? If the answer is yes, then Jesus helps to do that. If the answer is no, you keep waiting for so long. Sometimes how we answer defines how we can stay or get out of a situation. Sometimes how we treat a situation can define how long we can be in that situation. And this man, being in those many years in that situation, I'm sure he realized that the answer was lying with me. He, he was holding his healing for that whole time. Imagine that eight years you're only waiting for your own healing, but because of your own way of doing things, it is your, 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 the blame is on you for not achieving this healing that Christ has brought to us. And that's what Christ is asking us every day. What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? And sometimes we don't answer as Christ is doing this. I'm sure this man this day, he realized that I cannot wait any longer. This should be my day. And even through Christ, you know, looking at him and even his way of answering, he will have to not to heal him. But Christ is a merciful God. That's why he healed this man and this man got well. So today I want us to just ponder on this word. At there times you have said no to Jesus. He says, what do you want? What do you want to do for you? But you don't say yes. Sometimes you're in a situation, but you never take, to take it to God in prayer. Like this man, I'm sure all these years, it's not that Christ was not existing. He was existing, but he did not properly get to answer these questions. And Christ says, I am here waiting for that person. What is your answer today? Look at these men who will come to Bethsaida and get well. And the Bible says a great number. This means there were many people who will come. Number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, and paralyzed. Praise the Lord. And they will get well. And this morning, it is for us to know that Christ is waiting for us to say, yes, that I am tired of this situation. 38 is a long period. Are you tired of that situation that you've been in it for so long? And say, I no longer want to be here for that long. I want to get my miracle today. I want to get my blessing today. You have been in this spot for many years. You have been in this mountain for many years. You have been in this situation for many years. This valley has crashed you for many years. In this spot, you've been here for many years. And these many years, you seem not to have an answer. Today, just like this man who was at the pool for those many years, and Christ showed up and he asked him, Do you want to get well? And we see this man getting well because his day had come for his salvation. God is asking us that we should not be staying for so long. We can decide today and we will be able to advance from that state that we are in. I want us to challenge our faith today and tell God that indeed, even though I've been in this spot for so many years, I can live here and go to the next level and become well. It just took a few minutes for this man to be there. Something has been taken 38 years. It took a few minutes and this man was well. Maybe your state will take a few minutes like the way you're recording this video. Few minutes and you can get well and you raise your faith and tell God I want to move from this state you know sometimes you don't see how long you've been in a state until we get such a revelation like this one like I'm speaking to you now sometimes you've been in a place and you want to say 
Honestly, by the way, I've been in this place for over 50 years, over 40 years, and I don't seem to get it right. Something is wrong somewhere. You have to advance. God's way of doing things is not for us to stagnate in a place. Those are many days to stagnate in a place and just waiting for someone, someone to come and help you. But Christ says, I am the one who carries help. I can carry your help and today you can get out of that situation. Maybe it's sickness. Maybe it's a place of comfort. Maybe it's a place of stagnation. Maybe it's a place of business you know, challenge. Maybe it's a place of rejection. Maybe it's a place of, you know, hatred and jealous or evil. Maybe it's just a matter of personality and character that Christ is saying today, you can change and accept me and I will take that situation and become well again. The Lord has spoken to us this morning, but it is asked to make an action. Like this man was asked to do that. He told, in fact, Christ told this man, get up, pick your mat and go. And that's exactly what he did. When he, he stood up, he was okay. And he went. So Christ is saying, get up from that situation. Don't just sit there for so long. Imagine this person sitting there for so long. It takes time for us to wake up from a situation, realize we've been this for so long, and get, you know, going to the next level. The Lord bless you. Even as you get up and walk. Even as you say yes to Jesus. Even as you advance in that level. You have been in that position for so long. You know, you can't be in this spot for many years. You can decide today that God... Please, I want to look ahead. And looking ahead, it requires level of faith and an action to it. God bless you. Have a fantastic week as we pray towards this uh, word that we shall be able to challenge our faith and rise to the next level and get up and walk. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word. The healing at the pool has given us an example of how you healed this man who was disabled and was there for many years. Just like many of us, oh God, they have been in the same spot for many years, oh God. Today you're telling us we need to get up and walk. Father, today, Father, I pray for those many who are listening and viewing and saying, I have been in this state for many years. I want to get up and walk. Father, today, may they be advanced today. May you help them to get up and walk. As you have spoken to us, Father, what do we want? We say yes to you as we arise and get our mat and walk, oh God. I pray every state and every circumstance that people have been there for many years, today they will arise and walk and leave that spot and go to the next level and push the next button because you are God. From this lesson, Father, you are teaching us, Father, not just to be very comfortable with where we have been. It takes a level of sacrifice and commitment and faith and action for us to go to the next level. And I pray today, may we do that as you've spoken in your word. I thank you. Those who have been sick for many years, may they get well. Like this man who disabled and he got well, may they get well. Those who have been challenged in many situations for many years, Lord, may they get well. Those who have been trying to build homes for many years and they won't see anything and they've been trying to, uh, uh, you know, Lord, they've been trying so much to build this house and not coming to, to pass. Lord, I pray, may that house come to pass. Those who have been trying to travel out of the country, and Lord, it's been many years of trying and they have not seen anything happening. May this be an advance and a key to them, oh God, to go to the next level. I pray, Father, all our needs are covered in this world, even as you help us to go and get our mind and walk because you are God. I thank you and give you honor and praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord help you even as we advance to the next level. This is Pastor Kelvin and I wish you a blessed week in Jesus' name. Amen.